Hi, I'm Chastity Rosales with the Preferred Closing Specialist team coming to you. I'm the proud team leader of this amazing team and want to talk about the buying process with you today. We do have this in a uh, form of a little booklet. If you would prefer that, just request it from your buyer's agent. But real quickly, just wanted to go through some steps with you here. Well, all the steps with you. Um, we know everybody's um, learning style is different. Some like to watch videos, some like to read, and we have both for you. You're going to start by selecting your real estate agent. And congrats, you already have, and you have one of the best in El Paso. Um, most people will argue if you want to choose the lender first or the agent first. We say the agent first because they can actually guide you on the lender as well. Uh, the PCS team works with a lot of people, and so we have weeded out those ones that aren't great, don't give great customer service or bait and switch companies. So based on your um, particular situation, the agent that you chose to work with is going to help you narrow the best fit down for you. And then once you do, you're going to uh, file your loan application. It's super simple. Most of the time you can just do it right online, or if you um, feel more comfortable, we can have whoever you choose call and do it over the phone with you. Or if you like in person, we can set that up as well. Once you've done that, they are going to produce a pre-call letter for you. And that's going to outline what your purchasing power is. And then once the agent has that, they're going to do a buyer consultation with you. And they're going to talk to you about what you are looking for. What kind of lifestyle do you like? Do you like a lot of food and entertainment? Do you like more quiet? And then we're going to guide you on those neighborhoods, especially, um, for our military families coming in, our federal agents that come in that don't really know the area, we kind of help you to decide on the side of town based on your lifestyle, which is amazing. We do a really good job to really consult with you to make sure that we are um, directing you to um, an area or the type of homes that fits your lifestyle. And so once you do that, the next step is you're going to select, uh, they're going to select properties based on what you told them and they're going to send you a link. Um, most likely they're going to have you already signed up on our website at www.pcselpaso.com. So you can actually start searching homes. All homes in the MLS are listed on our website and you can go through those and go in your profile and set the criteria you want to see and start clicking the hearts of the ones you like and they'll use those to, um, help you narrow down to choose. And then um, we like for you to stay to five to seven homes a day. If you're coming in, you're not from here, we understand that it seems scary to only look at five homes when it's such a big purchase or seven. However, we say trust the process and let us show you the five or seven that you chose on day one. And if you don't absolutely love one, if one of them that you walk in don't speak to you and say, this is the one, then we can do the needs analysis again and go back to the drawing board to find you something. So don't let that stop you. Once you've chosen those, then they're going to take you out to see these properties. If you are remote, no worries. We do a ton of remote. We're going to do live videos. We're going to ask the agents if they have any walkthrough 3D videos that we can get for you. And we take extra special care with remote walking through we even tell you how the house smells. Um, so great advocates and partners for you on that. Once you choose the home, the one that says, this is it, I love it, write it up. We're going to help negotiate all of that stuff for you and we're going to educate you on the market. So right now we're doing this video during COVID and we find ourselves in a multiple offer situation commonly. We're educated for that and we're going to guide you on that. And so no matter if it's a multiple offer, uh, market or if it's just a common market where they're used to getting one offer, we're going to educate you on that. And we're going to do a market analysis to make sure that the price, house is priced right and that we're advising you. Um, during that process, they're going to be talking about uh, other things that you have to offer the seller in your offer, like earnest money or good faith deposit and option money. And so that depends on the price of the house. So they will tell you that both of those get credited back to you at closing. Um, yet, it's just a way to say the earnest money says, hey, I'm serious enough about this offer to you that I'm putting money down. And it's not a lot here, usually 500 to 1000 bucks. And then the option money is actually to the seller. You're buying 10 days of option periods to do your inspection and negotiate repairs. That money actually protects your earnest money. So super important that we do that. And they're going to talk to you about this again, just giving you, you know, just a couple of tips of education throughout here. And they're going to write that up and they're going to send it to you to sign electronically with all of that outlined. We do have a video library explaining each contract. So if you want that, 
she can, uh, he or she, the agent you chose, can send you that as well. We have a ton of resources to make this easy for you and to make you feel comfortable with, with what you're doing. We understand it's a huge purchase and it's our goal to stay educated and keep you educated so you feel comfortable and excited through the process. Once you do that, they're going to submit the offer to the listing agent and then you'll, if they may accept on the first time or they may counter. So we go back and forth on that until you both accept the terms. Once that's done, it's accepted and ex executed, and then our client care specialist will send you a congrats email that tells you in detail everything else next. Her and your agent are going to be guiding you through what's next, and so a couple of things are going to be happen happening simultaneously, like they're going to have to get your earnest and option money that you offered. Um, they're going to be getting the contracts to the lender and the title company and everybody that needs it, you're still going to be getting paperwork for your lender and you're going to have to order your inspection. If you're buying a resale, we order that inspection right away because remember, we only have 10 days. And so it's really important to get that in the first 72 hours so we can negotiate repairs. Again, the agent is going to guide you through negotiating repairs. If you're here, you can go the last 30 minutes of inspection and walk the house with the inspector and they'll outline what they found that anything concerns them. If you're remote, Ask if they have a body count option. If you work with Integrity, who most of all our buyers work with are buyers in El Paso because they're amazing. They do offer body cam, which is awesome. You also get a 30 to 50 page report, depending on how big the house is, outlining everything that the inspector did. And you and your agent will go over that. And anything that you're not comfortable with, they're going to ask the seller to repair on your behalf through an amendment. Seller does not have to remember it, at this point, it's negotiating back and forth. And so we say stick to the big things, costly items, HVAC, plumbing, roof, foundation, electrical, those types of things. If you're buying a resale, inevitably, there's going to be some nicks and scratches and things here, just like if you're buying a used car. And so we'll talk about what's most important to you. Should the seller agree, then they'll sign and execute that amendment and we'll move on to the appraisal. If you're buying a new home, we encourage you to still get an inspection. If the home's complete and everything's installed, then you can order the inspection right away. If not, that may look a little different for you because you may have to order a gas meter, depending on which builder you chose. Um, um, or we may be waiting on appliances to go in so those can be tested. So they'll guide you on that stuff. Um, new builds are built by human hands and make mistakes. So I would definitely get one. We've seen, we, we just caught one that, they forgot to put the motor in the furnace. That would have sucked once the, the buyer figured out that was happening once they got moved in. Um, again, they'll send a report for a new build. We give the whole report to the uh, foreman and they will fix all the deficiencies found on there. You also get a, a warranty one year bumper or bumper with new builds, two years um, so, uh, systems, which is HVAC, plumbing, um, anything takes something in and out of the house like um, AC, heater, plumbing, and then 10 year structural. Um, once those repairs have been negotiated, um, speaking of a resale for new builds, we order appraisal right away. Um, the next step is ordering the appraisal and the lender is responsible for ordering the appraisal. But if um, most of them will wait until the agent gives them the okay, because if you're buying a resale, we want to make sure that we've negotiated repairs and you're comfortable before that money is spent. It does cost 450 to 500 and could be more if the house is bigger. Um, and depending on your lender, some of them charge you up front. Some of them just take a credit card and hold it on file until closing. So that really is lender dependent, not um, something that we control. If you do, um, if we've negotiated, repay, um, excuse me, closing costs for you, that will get credited back to you because it will get rolled up in your closing costs. So essentially it could not cost you a thing. Um, if they take a credit card, the only time they would charge you is if you, for some reason, terminated the contract and didn't move forward, then that appraisal would still have to be paid for, which is why we take extra special care um, in making sure everything is set before we give the lender the OK to order it. Um, that's here. All this is that I'm talking about now is going on in here because we're going to be um, getting all that settled. We're going to be ordering 
the inspection, the um, title company is going to be ordering the title searches and making sure there's no encumbrances. And you're going to be talking to insurance companies and um, the mortgage company is going to be doing all this stuff here. So there's a lot of pieces going on here. And we say this part is kind of like a duck on water. It looks smooth on the surface, but the little feet going so fast underneath are all these things that are moving. Yet it looks smooth to you because we're the person guiding all these people, not you. And so you know, being a buyer's agent is a lot more than just showing you homes and writing a contract. There's 167 plus points to a buyer transaction. And the agent that you chose to represent you is helping guide all that. And again, you've chosen the best one in El Paso. So congratulations. Um, it'll be kind of silent for you during that time. If the lender needs more documentation, that will be your responsibility. It usually takes about two weeks for the appraisal to happen. So it really is the longest point of the transaction. Uh, and once the appraisal is back, then our client concierge will start working to finishing up um, your closing. Um, during that time, they will be gathering receipts for repairs made if it's a resale. If it's a builder, they just do it. Um, they just tell it's done and they'll do a walkthrough and tell you if you are um, here remotely for resale versus um, new home. So for resale, we'll do a final walkthrough day of closing and you have the option of checking that the repairs were done yourself or trusting that the seller did them by giving you your receipts or our favorite, hire the inspection to go, the inspector to go back and check that for you. It is a cost. It's like it's a lot less inexpensive than the initial cost to do the inspection. Yet it gives you peace of mind that it's done. And we also um, on resales, we negotiate carpet cleaning, house cleans. If it has a pool to pool clean. So on our final walkthrough day of closing, we're making sure all that stuff was done, too. And everything that you negotiated, like appliances or furniture or anything are in the house. For a resale, you're going to do two walkthroughs. You're going to do a blue tape where we walk through and mark cosmetic deficiencies that you won't fix before closing. And then the final one on the day of closing to make sure they're done. Um, remember, you do have a one year home warranty. So if anything goes wrong during that period, you just file a claim with the builder warranty service. They're going to give you that information in your closing documents. And that is your point of contact. They will not allow us to call and do that for you. So please um, use the information they gave you to request those warranties. And if you have issues, you can always call us for advice. 72 hours before closing, our client concierge service is going to be reaching out to you, um, coordinating best times. If you're here, you will close at the title company in person. If you're remote, there are two ways to close. You can choose to have the title company email you the documents, you print them, sign, initial, date them, get them notarized, overnight them back. They do provide you the overnight label. If you're remote, um, you again, you can choose that or they can send you a remote notary, which is our favorite. The notary will come to wherever you are. It doesn't matter. Park, house, work, cafeteria. They will make sure those documents, they will bring the documents. You don't have to print them. They'll make sure they're initialed, signed, notarized and overnight back, which is just a safer bet. That is a little extra cost, usually between 125, 150 bucks for that. Um, yet, you know, it's safe if you are overseas because we work with a lot of military coming overseas. Um, most uh, often you don't have FedEx, you have DHL. Um, you um, send them the fastest way. I think two days is fastest for most places. Send us a copy, a, a screenshot of that receipt so we can provide it to the title company and they'll reimburse you that cost of mailing it over. Um, and that's it. At, once we get to closing, you sign and once it's funded, then it's officially yours. Not when you sign the paperwork. If we sign late in the day, it most likely will not fund till the next day. And that is when it's actually your home. And we will be there guiding each step of the way. There will be nothing in this process here that you will be um, caught off guard or not know because we're your partner through this. Um, after closing, you will get a post-closing um, email from our client concierge that's telling you how to transfer your utilities, um, where your post office is. You do have to go to the post office in person to order your mailbox and your key. Um, and you have to take your closing um, statement with you and an ID. We, the, one of the things that we can't do for you, unfortunately. 
Um, and they, if you have a pool, they'll give you information about that. If we've negotiated a home warranty for you, they will give you, you know, a point of contact with your home warranty. You also get in that in the mail after you close. And then if you also, if you're a remote, we're going to um, reach out to you to coordinate how you want your keys. Usually most buyers want us to keep them here and we'll put a combo lock on your home. So no matter time of day or night you come in, you have access to your home and you can start moving in and then we'll come after and pick up the keys. We do like to send you pizza when you're closing. So please remind your agent, hey, I'll be here all day moving in, um, ready for my pizza and what your favorite pizza is. Thank you again for choosing us to be your partner through this exciting adventure. The PCS team prides themselves on education and customer service, and I hope you're feeling that throughout enough so that you become Raven fans of ours. And in your post-closing email, you will also find a uh, link to review us. Please go give your agent a review. Tell us how we're doing so we can continue to improve our process and better serve those ahead of you. Have an amazing day. Again, I'm Chastity Team Leader, 915-873-2772. Do you have any concerns with anything going on with your file that you don't feel like is being handled appropriately? Reach out. Yet, I'm doubtful because, again, you've chosen the best agent in El Paso to help you. Have an amazing day and congratulations.